What's going on YouTube? Skittle Fabs here. So uh, I just left work and I'm actually going to be going to my buddy's uh, shop and we're going to disassemble and depower a power steering rack out of a Dodge Neon SRT4. So stay tuned. now and um gonna get to it might as well not waste any time so here's the power steering rack um it's out of a regular dodge neon uh 03 to 05 everything's the same it might not have the sensor on the back but we'll double check on that So guys, here we go. All right, um, so I'm trying to figure it out, but I don't think if you if you have a regular Neon or a Neon SRT4 power steering rack, I'm not 100% sure if running a sensor or not would pop a code. So don't hold that to me. Um, all to do, all you can do is basically test it out on your own car prior to doing this and. Uh, but I think it's just a pressure sensor, just like a oil pressure sensor, so I don't think it would matter. Um, what I'm gonna do here is disconnect these lines, hydraulic lines, and disconnect this other nipple coming off of here, and then we're gonna get to this. All right, so guys, um, disconnect these lines, 13 millimeter, I use an open wrench because there's nothing else to do or you guys can use an adjustable uh, or whatever, whatever you guys have available. But um, 13 millimeters, we'll remove these, just take them out, you don't need them no more but if they're in good shape keep them just in case somebody needs them down the road, you know, you can help them out. Some people like power steering. Um, Alright, so take these two out, move them to the side. And then you take out this one, which this one would be an 18 millimeter open end. This one was a little bit of a uh, hassle for me. There will be two of them. I already took the other one out prior. We'll be getting to this in a second, but right now, not this second. So once that's out, you can get rid of that. You will be leaking uh, fluid, so use rags. So we're going to take tie rod boots off and take off the tie rod ends and we're going to get back to taking this off, there's just a pivot pin in there, I'm going to bang that out and then this whole portion that goes in, slips into the steering column will come off. 